In this video, I'd like to explain how to name binary, molecular, or sometimes called covalent compounds. It's important to appreciate that these compounds involve only nonmetals. Therefore, we will use these prefixes for only naming binary, covalent, or molecular compounds that involve nonmetals as opposed to naming ionic compounds, which typically have a metal beginning in the formula, with the exception of NH4+. Diatomic means the molecule is made up of two different types of atoms. The naming is pretty straightforward. We're going to use the prefixes di, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, hepta, octanana, deca. Now, notice here it says for the first atom, use these prefixes. For the second atom, include mono and all the other prefixes that you would use for the atom. So let me show you some examples. Carbon monoxide. One carbon and one oxygen in the molecule. Notice we do not use the prefix mono for the single carbon atom but we do use it for the single oxygen atom in the molecule. Similarly with the second one, one carbon atom, but now we have two oxygens, and we do not use mono for the first atom, and we use di because there's two oxygens. Nitrogen dioxide, dinitrogen tetroxide. Notice we drop the A on tetra if there is an O following it. Phosphorus pentachloride and phosphorus trichloride. I encourage you to practice many of the problems in OWL that deal with naming binary covalent compounds.